monstrous makeover. Bob, that's the fifth time this has happened this week. That means one a day, like a vitamin. We have to discover who the culprit is so we can stop it from happening again. Do you know who's doing this? No, who? No, I'm asking you. Do you know who did this? I give up. Who's doing this? No, no, never mind. We're going to need some clues to solve this manor mystery. And I think I know where to start. Oh. Follow me. Uh, could you huh? give me a hand, please? I'm, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah, all Wait. right, thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 all right. Okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. oh. You guys found anything yet? Yes! I love the shade of lipstick! Keep looking. we got to find something. Uh. Bruno? What are you doing? Putting things back. They were out of his box. Bruno, that's it. That's what we've been looking for. As you know, when John got hit on the head, he now thinks he's Vincent Price. You don't mean... Yes! John Goodwin is our monster maker. And that just means one thing. Vincent Price is going to make another movie! Oh! He's coming! He's oh, coming! He is. He is. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. oh I'm Vincent Price. Hello. Yes, yes. 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 Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Okay. You would know oh, when you played it. your game of murder oh. that I was a player too. Oh. You broke it, idiot. I think I busted your skull. Now, none of you have to worry now, because we have John confined to his bed, and Bruno is watching him like a hawk. Do you remember the fun we had when you tried to poison me? <laughs> yes. Well, this is just the mask for you. It's great. You can make all kinds of good things with this. We have to find a way to make John stop. If we don't, I'm afraid Administrator Culp will find out and try to shut us down again. I'm a reasonable man. But if you can't make the required changes by the time I return, I'll have no choice but to close down Monster Kid Manor. Now, how do we convince John to stop doing these makeovers? <laughs> what do you think, Warren? Well, I suppose I could write him a bad review of his latest makeover. This might deter him from ever trying to do this again. On the other hand, Theater of Blood, 1973, United Artists, now owned by MGM. Vincent Price exacts Shakespearean revenge on all the critics who gave him bad reviews. And I don't want I should be fed by poodle. You don't have a poodle. Not now, but who knows? Maybe one day I'm thinking, oh, I'd like a nice pet. First thing you know, I sit down to lunch and it's noodles and poodles. We could take away his rondo. He wouldn't like that. Sure. What are your thoughts, Mr. Ellington? <laughs> How about we convince John that Vincent is through with the movie and we can have a rap party? <laughs> that way, he would be finished and we could all rest in peace. <sighs> yes, that could work. The problem is, though, at the end of a project, he always watches TV to see if he's won a rondo. We need to have a rondo ceremony. Now, where can we find a rondo? <laughs> well, maybe we could get the rondo people to make one for us. Yeah, that's how I got mine. <laughs> no, it isn't, sweetie. You got your rondo because you won it. I did? My goodness. Oh. Oh. I want to thank the Academy and all the little people that starred in The Puppet People and Dr. Cyclops. And don't forget Todd Browning's Devil Doll, 1936 MGM, now owned by Warner Brothers. Enough of this small talk. Nursie, you go tell John that we're having his rondo party tonight. And Warren, I've got a special job for you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Vincent Price. For many years now, mankind and his offspring have been searching for an alternative to peanut butter and jelly. After employing the latest methods in technology, the Peter Paul Candy Company has found the alternative to peanut butter and jelly. 
peanut butter with no jelly. Pure, creamy peanut butter dotted with Krispies, covered with pure milk chocolate, but no jelly. I'm sure you're as pleased as I am. <laughs> Okay, everyone's here. Bruno, go get John. Tell him we need him here. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! Oh, do you think John will run a Rondo? Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure he will. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go see what's keeping John and Bruno? Okay! Oh, <laughs> you really think John is going to believe he's fitting Arando for a film that doesn't even exist? I hope so. We've got in this episode somehow. Nurse, Nursey, uh, where's John? Oh, we couldn't find John, but Vincent has agreed to accept the award for John. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, but John will be disappointed he missed Vincent Price. <laughs> Nursey, Nursey, you do know they're the same person. Who? John and Vincent. They are? Uh, wow! That explains why John will miss Vincent. Okay, let's get this uh, program started. Warren, you're on. Good evening, and welcome to the Rondo Awards. I'm your master of ceremonies, David Colton. Before we begin, I would like to thank my lovely wife, Eileen, without whom the Rondo Awards would not be possible. Let's get on to the awards. The nominees in the first category are Lon Chaney Jr. in Mummy Dearest. Peter Cushing in Dr. Tsouris, House of Spilkes. Benny Lugosi in Glenn or Glengarry Glen Ross. And Vincent Price in The Mask of the Red Shoes. And the Rondo goes to... Ah, hell with it. The winner is Vincent Price in The Mask of the Red Shoes. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Vincent Price. I've rented the manor tonight for a party. There'll be food and drink and ghosts and perhaps a few murders. You're all invited. <laughs> seems to be in order. It looks like Monster Kid Manor can remain open. For now. But I'll be back. And I've got my eye on you. Here comes Batman and the boy wonder Robin. The dynamic duo leap into the Batmobile in hot pursuit of the Joker with his tricks and the Penguin with his magic umbrella. They are all here in Color Form's Batman cartoon kit. Let's have an exciting Batman adventure. Put the Penguin in Gotham City. Don't forget his umbrella. Now Batman makes the scene. Pow! Bam! Color Form's plastic pieces stick like magic. Uh-oh, Robin's in trouble. Can Batman rescue Robin? Will the dynamic duo be boxed in? You'll have hundreds of exciting adventures with the great Batman cartoon kit. By Color Forms. What a toy! You have been invited here to see for yourselves one of the most amazing events in the annals of scientific history. Basilica supporting the 
city. Repeat, Antilochus approaching the city. This is Grayson. All units. Fire at will. Georgia called, and the thirteenth time you've been asleep, you should call your daughter back. Don't you want to talk to her? Let me sleep on it. <sighs> Wait a minute. I don't have any daughter. Huh? Who is this Georgia? Who? No, no. I'm asking you. Who is Georgia? I give up. Who is she? Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to need to find some clues to this manor mystery. And I think I know just where to start. Follow me. This is a creature from the lost world, a creature created by you. With Mattel's strange change machine, you turn time capsules into weird creatures. You control the compression chamber, which turns these creatures back into capsules. Be the creator of a lost world with Mattel's strange change machine. You know, there must be a way to find out who this Georgia person is. Oh! We can ask your daughter when she calls. He's not talking to his daughter. Yes, I am. No, no, I'm not. Well, that's not very nice, Bob. I've already told you I don't have a daughter. So how could I call a daughter I don't have? What is he saying? He wants to know what the problem with your daughter is. He's not speaking to her. You guys are all crazy. If the administrator Culp ever found out how crazy you guys are, he'd probably shut us down. Again. I'm a reasonable man. But if you can't make the required changes by the time I return, I'll have no choice but to close down Monster Kid Manor. Bob! Bob! Hmm. What? Wake up! What? 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 Georgia just called again for you. But why didn't you wake me up? You were having a dream sequence. Those are expensive. Good point. Did she leave a message? Who? Look, there's no time for a running gag right now. We have to get this mystery solved before the credits roll. I have an idea. Oh, I'm probably going to regret this. Uh, what's your idea? Bruno used to read palms. He could read your palm and then tell us who Georgia is. Bruno reads palms? He read mine yesterday, and you know what he said? I haven't a clue. That's right! He said I haven't a clue! Just go get him. Your left hand tells your future, and your right hand tells your past. Let's try the left hand. Maybe we can figure out how this episode ends. 
Give me your hand. No. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Let me see the other one. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible, I tell you. What'd you see? Dracula versus Frankenstein. It's just terrible. I love that movie. Well, I had a guest starring role in the film playing Dr. Beaumont. And the Frankenstein monster crushed me to death in that scene. Will you quit forying, please? And answer me. What do you know about Georgia? Well, Georgia is a southeastern state established in 1732. It has marshlands, greenery, coastal areas, surrounded by vast areas of farmland. I'm going back to sleep. I just... Who's this guy? That's the guy that won the cameo in the movie. Oh, well, hello. Sup? Hello? Uh, Bob? Is Bob there? <sighs> Damn it. All right, can you, can you write down, Greg? Nicotero? N-I-C-O-T-E-R-O. -E I'm in Georgia. Weird. Well, I hate to say it, but everything seems to be in order. It looks like Monster Kid Manor will remain open. For now. But I'll be back. And I've got my eye on you! Miko presents the Planet of the Apes action figures. Dr. Zaius, the orangutan scientist. Cornelius, the archaeologist. Zira, the woman scientist. The soldier ape. And the astronaut. All Planet of the Apes action figures sold separately by Migo. Dracula versus Frankenstein. His blood is cold, but his mind is keen. He cannot die, for he is already dead. His name is Dracula. Another lives, but his body belongs to the dead. The two will join forces, but only one will survive. Dracula versus Frankenstein. Together, in one film, they meet in a fight of fright. The kings of horror battle to the death. Dracula versus Frankenstein. and this is nothing like a great movie. I know, but it sure was nice of your son Jonathan to bring the projector. He's not my son. Thanks, Dad. I'm not your father. That's not what you said on Father's Day. I didn't want to talk to you on Father's Day. I know, and I have not forgotten that. What have you not forgotten? Hmm. Can't recall. Maybe Dad remembers. Can we just watch the movie? You know, I have to say, this is not half bad. Thank you, Warren. It's entirely bad. The production is for Misht, the actors are for Cocked, the script is for Blunchett. Sam Newfield would read this thing and go, Tooey! I can't imagine anybody making a voice picture. Maybe Ed would. Would what? Make a voice picture. Who? Ed. Ed who? Ed would. Oh, I wouldn't. Dad would. 
Is he Ed's brother? I think I'm gonna scream. Ladies and gentlemen, the tingler is loose in the theater. Please do not panic, but scream. Scream for your lives! <laughs> that just never gets old. Unlike us. I think it's a really good movie, Bob. Me too. Makes me proud to be your son. How many times have to tell you? He's not my son. I give up. How many? It's a rhetorical question, nurse. What question? About my son. Well, he's sitting right over there running the projector, silly. Hiya, Pops. You know, this reminds me of the great son of Dracula, Fanvor of 96. I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm a reasonable man, but if you can't make the required changes by the time I return, I'll have no choice but to close down Monster Kid Manor. Oi, wrong flashback. Sorry. What was the son of Dracula War? Some reviewers claim that Don Cheney Jr., when he was playing Son of Dracula, was actually Dracula, not the son. Well, either way, he's going to need a lot of sunscreen. I show that movie many times on my horror host show. He was the son. You know, I did a picture with Don. It was called The Haunted Palace. What did he say? He said to me, he said, Ooh, this brisket is delicious. This is one mystery we've got to solve before the people come and close us down. Um, we already did that scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should talk to Lon himself. <gasps> you mean? Yes, seance. Bruno! <laughs> yes, Nabob? What will you need to contact the spirits? Depends. Oh, we have plenty of those in the supply room. No, no. I mean, it depends on who you wish to connect with. Son of Dracula. Then I'll need a crystal ball! wonderful thing maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders, lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change -o. You've got bugs. Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. You get four different colors of goop and special pinks. Make charming lizard pins or spider rings. You can collect them or spread them around. After all, they are fun for the entire family. <laughs> get Mattel's new thing maker with creepy crawlers. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. <laughs> Spirits of the great beyond, I call to you now through this crystal ball. Lava lamp. I call to you now through this lava lamp. Even though I specifically asked for a crystal ball to speak to the guy who played the son of Dracula. Is he in? He's in. Uh -huh. Why have you freed me from the eyes that imprison the beast within me? Mm. Well, you wouldn't want to run away with a murderer, would you? Lock me in and no matter what you hear or what you think, don't let me out! Not the wolf, man. We want Dracula. No! What about the blade? I don't want to repeat Frankenstein's mistake. Not that Dracula. No! Kill you alligator man like I killed any four-legged gator. <laughs> run chicken, run. <laughs> like ketchup on my beans, George. <laughs> Put it out! Put it out, I tell you! That's it. You got it. What is your question? 
Were you Dracula or his son? I have pondered that question for many years. Yes? And I can tell you now with all absolute certainty. Yes? I could go either way. <sighs> well, that's that. I beat. So we just dissolved to under Craig scene. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We can. We can do that. Well, I hate to say it, but everything seems to be in order. It looks like Monster Kid Manor can remain open. For now. But I'll be back. And I've got my eye on you.